Okay, this is for you. I'm going to do a little bit of a chat with the start of this one. Um, so this is, uh, yeah, just to, I had a question from, um, and please excuse me if I pronounce it wrong, but Blondio asked, how do you know what colours are in the green trays before I kit it? Um, <laughs> that changes. Okay. Um, sorry, I've just got to make sure I've got everything here. Good to go. Just go to the bottom, it's not valid. Uh, so, with, how do I know what's in the trays? It's all, what you're going to get is the noises you don't normally get when I'm setting up because certainly you don't want to hear or see this bit. Just trying to get my myself settled. Okay. I've actually got on here. That's from the last lot of um, work I did. And seven twenty-five. Twenty-fifth of the fifth. 725 so basically 725 I started just written that on there for this one because of the size of it um thought I'd <coughs> keep track of how things are going um hopefully this sounds okay I have got yapping dog neighbors the, sorry neighbors with yapping dogs at the moment and my guessing is that they are not at home but um, one thing that was um, was asked, oh, where do I put my tweezers now? There they are. Was how do I know what's in the green trays? Um, it is all just a slow process of building it up. Just cut this across because uh, I've got only got the um, four squares to do on this one. Actually, I've all zoomed it out. You're not seeing as much as what. That's it. Um, it all for, 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 whoops. <laughs> you can tell that I'm leaning I'm at the very end of my desk. Okay. Right, let's take that one off and that one off. Just doesn't want to come up. There we go. So I will, once I get to a certain point, I will actually go back and time lapse this. But how do I know what colour is where um, when it comes to the green, green trays? Is all based wholly and solely on what I get out. So what I started to do was um, the colours that I was used that I used in the last section that I did. It's sitting in this tray here. And then whatever I haven't used is in these trays. So it was just for me, it's just take some lids off these trays. Okay. So what it was was a situation where um, I just worked my way along. So the first one was the Squares, so because I haven't worked on this for a couple of days, the squares, um, the symbols are slightly lost in my head. Um, I will say that there's some symbols there, so if we get there, come on, focus, let's go. There. So that star. That's a light forest green. The diamond next to it is pistachio. I've just in this, just in this section, you know, you've got colours, symbols that just stick in your head and you know exactly where they are. But when it came to setting up, I just have, because we're all, with all the kits we do, we have a bucket load of trays. I go for it, I have a preference of trays. 
jump. I'll get them out of the way. I obviously have a preference of these ones because they sit better. Um, and for me, all it is setting up like this is just a case of I put a colour in the train and so this one is the square which is the first two. If it's in a big container, I will tip it out. Hang on, that won't fly. And then you can see there I actually have I'm actually probably gonna have to zoom it out further. Oh, gosh, doing well. So what I do is I will line up um, the first one square, then part. Oh. Once you get them out and around you, you tend to know where they are. The heart. The light forest green pistachio. So I mean that's the pistachio with the do do very light pistachio with the diamond. Let's work that one out. That one out. So I get the first few out. When I'm starting off and as you go through your different sections you'll probably find that um, you'll need more of one colour than another colour um, and then you won't need as much of it the next time you use it but what you've got there is I'll just position that just so you can see it so what you can see here now is I've got some colours already which are actually that's the first two colour that's my next one then it's that one then it's that one and then it's this one and then it is Oh, my aspect, oh, is. and then it is uh, this one so that's that's the starting point that's my first row of 10 and what I do is I just build from there and the bigger containers I will try and put them into this into trays the smaller ones I just have the lids off so if the lids on it means it's in a tray. If the lid's off, there's no tray for it. But these are all got them where I can actually see the symbols on them. And that's where, that is the starting point of um, this process. Um, and it just builds up and builds up as you're doing more. As you move along, you need more. Um, some of them in the white trays, in the smaller trays, um, I do pull four out if there is something that is used a lot of. Um, with the smaller containers, it is the good old stab and grab. But when you do, have I done it already? Yeah, I've done it already. That one's there. <laughs> uh, heart. Pistachio and then the star. Um, and when you do the stab and grab, what you try and do is aim directly for one of the drills that has the top up. If you go stabbing blindly, you might get something, but you might find that if you're just stabbing away like that, you're not going to get something. Whereas if you actually try and aim for something that you might find that you can pick it up. That's probably too far away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, one, two, one, one, two. Yeah. And 
something that I constantly do is I'm always checking and going back and doing the count. By doing it with just a row at a time, just makes it a little bit easier. And that one is three. So I do get to use a multi-placer in here. And so now it's just a case of building up my symbols, uh, symbols, building up my trays, and eventually, as you work your way through, you learn where they sit. So hopefully that answers um, the question about how do I know what's in the trays. It's just a build up. So here's another one, and you just. You've always got your um, symbols showing on your trays. And I've found that even when I don't do other diamond paintings in this way, um, even you find that your most used colours that you use tend to end up at the top. But um, I end up with a massive pile of these in one section. I end up with drills and trays on that section, drills and trays in this section. So um, <laughs> it just builds up around them. One, two. Start. No, that's I've just gone on there too. So what happens. This is why I'm doing it on by sound. So Square, square, heart, pistachio, forest green. There's two, the heart, the three, the white. Heart. That's why it didn't. It's funny, it just didn't blend in properly for me. It is. Oops, come on now. Was that colour? But it's stupid, but I already picked up that it wasn't a right colour. Um, where are you? And this is where the time is, is actually. Oh, okay. You're not there. I know I've already dealt with you. You're in this pile somewhere. That is where. Oh, I'm going to move that one along. When you do some sections of diamond paintings on the ones where you've got significantly less colours, you learn your colour, you learn your symbols, um, and it's the same here, just in a bigger quantity. So that's those three. That's the white, that's the star, that's just I don't know, I know I messed up on a, quite a few of them there for a bit. Um, I have to pick them off. Um, Which is the queen. Brown, very light red brown, pistachio, red light brown, pistachio, and then light moss green. Now there's quite a bit of this one 
even though this is a small tray, the small container, there's quite a bit of this one. And um, it's just easier if I do the stab, uh, if I put them in a container. And because it's in a container, I put the lid down. So that way I'm not just, I keep, I keep a fair idea on what's being worked on this. And this one here. And end up with And I just I continue to shuffle around and shuffle around just to make them all fit. And especially considering the last time I did it, there were so many out. So while I've been doing all these deep, while I've been drilling like this, um, I will just go back to watching YouTube clips. Um, there's a lot of hours of YouTube clips that I can watch in this space of time doing this. So um, okay. square. Horses, my clear horses. What I say like this, I think I may have messed up one stage here. So you've got some of your symbols are pretty close together, but I think it's going to focus. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, this one is. <laughs> no, they're not going to. One is a. Is a horse symbol well they're both a horse symbol one is a solid horse symbol and one is a clear horse symbol uh, so yeah. and there's two of them that gets in my team I like team one right So there we go, one row down. Okay. So 40 drills, I've got 1, 2, well, I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 colours just for one row. Um, but my desk will end up so much, so much busier. So I'm going back to um, watching YouTube clips. And I'll time lapse this and um, hope you enjoy watching the stats. So that's just an hour it took me to do that section. So I'm not packing up. I'm going to continue on to the next page. However, I don't want to send drills everywhere. For organisation, it's closing some of this down. Organisational side of things. So there's my completed square. 
and the way I have this set up, there's a lot of sticky labels on the top. So what I've got is the picture and in there is all my um, my legend, my symbols. What I have done is this is the this page is um, on the picture is four rows all the way down on that page. And then the next one is all the way down there. So what you've got is these four rows is this page. These four rows were actually this page. So what I will do now is I turn that over as a completed and what I am going to do is go along one more another four. So I am onto a fresh sheet. So that way I can keep track of all well, should be able to keep track because I've coloured them anyway. But I can keep track of where I'm at. So yep, I'm onto that one. And I'm moving along slowly, slowly, slowly. Uh, and I've got symbols in here that I haven't used yet. <laughs> so yeah, that's um, so far. I mean, what have I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Hang on. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So 23 colours in four squares. That's not too bad. Um, so I'm going to move on to the next one. Um, and this is where it gets tricky. I don't really want to put my colours away. So I'm going to end up with a mess, my guessing is. And I have... My canvas is rolled. It's inside an ever moment tube. I'm just positioning it so I can just wiggle it just a little bit. And right. there will be some stretching going on here. One, two, three, four, and just a bit more. There we go. That's released it. So we're going to be going across one. Oh no, I didn't need to go across that far. I only need to do four, four across. Two, three, four. And I do have one of these sticky bead mats. I'm just going to use that to hold these down. Just for a little bit. And in doing that, I've actually given myself more room on that side. <laughs> Yeehaw. Okay, so back to it. Um, actually, some of these symbols I've already got out that I used in this section here. So I won't be digging for too many colours. But yeah, we'll, I'll get back to it. Um, I'll probably zoom the camera in. Um, just a bit, I don't know, we'll see how we go. What we do is we to fold that over first. Because that's where I'm, that's my starting point. 